Guys, today I'm taking a look at a tool for you content creators and streamers out there, namely a microphone. As a matter of fact, this is no ordinary one, instead one that costs about 70 US dollars at the time of making this video, yet it offers unbelievable professional sound. I for my part have completely misjudged this thing by creative, once more proof that good equipment doesn't always have to cost much. Even more impressive, the fact this marks Creative's entry into the recording microphone market. So let me introduce you to Live Mic M3 or Live Mic M3, depending on how it's actually supposed to be pronounced. I don't know. It doesn't really matter anyway, because we are dealing with a $70 fairly compact USB microphone with great additional features such as real-time monitoring via headphones, a good usable table stand along with a magnetic attachable pop filter. The last times I've had such a mic test in my hands for this price, I had a strong desire to throw it into the trash. Not today. Before we move on, I'd like to point out that what you've heard so far was indeed recorded with this very live mic M3. There was no post-processing applied except for some amplifying to basically increase the volume of the finished recording and that's all. Furthermore, in order you get a better picture on what the raw sound and tone is like, I'll cut out the background music from now on for the majority of the video, so you're able to hear every oh so nasty detail of my recording, along with my voice. I guess that's how a mic test is supposed to be done. Now back to the mic itself. The build quality for this price range is totally okay. Nothing mind-blowing actually, since the body is made out of plastic, not really surprising, but rest assured, it doesn't make a fragile impression, the live mic M3 is pretty robust. I'm pleasantly surprised about the fact that both the table stand and multi-angle mount are fairly high quality and out of metal. The table stand itself is pretty heavy, so the microphone certainly doesn't wobble around and produce unwanted noises while recording. The equipment consisting of four main components is put together in a matter of seconds. As stated before, we connect the mic via USB, micro USB to be exact. The cable for it is 1.5 meters long. I certainly would have liked seeing at least a 1.8 or even 2 meter cable here instead, so you could for instance put noisy laptops further away from the microphone as in my case. Additionally, the Live Mic M3 comes with a 3.5 mm headphone output for real-time monitoring. Basically, you hear yourselves while speaking into the mic. By touching and adjusting the knob, you can change your mix of that. I love it, exactly as seen on the real good established mics out there. Directly underneath is a mute button for emergencies. When muted, the LED will no longer light up in blue, but red instead. Now if we turn this thing around, we spot another very important knob. This one is the polar pattern setting. As a matter of fact, this mic offers a total of two different patterns, namely cardioid and omnidirectional. Cardioid is the front-focused mode, one could say, best suited for capturing sounds made directly in front of the mic. Sounds coming from behind the microphone will be somewhat isolated, cut out. I for one am currently using that mode to record the script. The polar pattern omnidirectional, on the other hand, pretty much records sounds coming from all directions, for instance, perfect for podcast sessions with multiple hosts sharing the same mic. For the pattern cardioid, we are according to the specs talking of a sensitivity of roughly negative 35 decibels and we can record with a resolution of up to 24 bit and 96 kilohertz. For the real-time monitoring over headphones, as with most microphones, only up to 32 ohm headphones are being supported. For anything above, there's simply not enough power. That's perfectly normal. Now as convenient the table stand may be, I personally find it a little too small, too short. Luckily, thanks to that standard quarter inch mounting thread, you can make use of pretty random microphone arms. But now let's get real, let's talk about the sound and quality. If you're asking me, the recording does impress. This year I had to fiddle around with a Shure MV7, it was frustrating. I was seriously let down by that very mic, at least when connected via USB. My daily driver for getting the voiceovers done for all my videos currently is the Blue Yeti X, but only because its bundled software is so incredibly awesome and even comes with noise reduction. If it weren't for the latter, my recordings would have a lot of background noise, an unpleasant noise floor in my case at least. 
Today's Creative Life Mic M3, on the other hand, neither does come with any software nor any sort of noise reduction features. Nothing. Just the bare plug and play mic. Surprisingly, it does a remarkably good job for my rather quiet, soft way of recording voiceovers without the aid of assisting features, even though the noise floor certainly can be heard if you listen closely. I should also mention that the Live Mic M3 neither is a mic with the highest sensitivity out there, nor is it one with the lowest. If you're speaking into the mic as quietly and softly as I do, the microphone level setting within Windows at 100% will not be sufficient in order to be heard loud and clear. You'd have to do a bit of post-processing to fix that. Luckily, these days that's easily and cleanly fixed with just a few clicks. Even if you're live streaming, tools such as OBS, if I remember correctly, offer you to apply real-time effects to your audio track, including compression. For a normal, more usual speaking volume, the mic offers a really nice sweet spot, I believe. Should you end up being too loud, reducing the levels is one of the simplest things to do. So that's totally fine with me. Just make sure to be ready to live with a tiny bit of static noise in the background if you record quiet performances. Well, except if you decide to apply post-processing or go with smart effects to cancel that noise out. But how does the Live Mic M3 actually sound like with different polar pattern settings, as well as recording distances? Well, right now I'm in a cardioid pattern and about 5 to 6 centimeters away from the microphone. Still in the cardioid pattern, but now roughly 50 centimeters away. Now I'm about a meter away from the microphone and hope you can still hear me. I now switched into the omnidirectional pattern and I'm about 5 to 6 centimeters away from the mic. Still in the omnidirectional pattern, but roughly 50 centimeters away. How much background noise is being picked up with that polar pattern should be pretty clear now at a distance of about a meter. In my opinion, the Live Mic M3, given its price, does perform phenomenally. Of course, I cannot call myself a professional when it comes to audio tech, especially not when talking about recording, but I am impressed by the end result. The very convenient pop filter does an incredible job too, only minimally affects the tone, but cuts out the plosives quite well. Now if Creative were to offer the right software package, along with features such as noise reduction, compression and whatnot, the competition would really have a hard time. With that said, the Creative Live Mic M3 is really worth recommending. A great choice for all those that want something good for little money. Thanks so much for watching and for sticking around for so long.